I was seven when Katrina hit, so I was in like second grade. I kind of knew what was going on at the time, and it was like frustrating just like traveling around. We went to like Mississippi and like Texas, like Galveston and Houston, but like it was frustrating because, you know, y'all the water, you know, y'all bath and cold water, and then uh, my family traveled as a whole, so like sometimes it'd be like 50 of us and we was in Mississippi at a, another family member house, and you're sleeping on like a mattress, no lights. And then once you get back home, you know, my house still was up. I uh, had a little damage, like, in the roof and the fence. But, like, just seeing, like, everybody else in the neighborhood and, like, close friends, like, never came back. There's a lot of people. Uh, winds, you know, trees fell on their house, so they lost a, uh, a lot of uh, things. And during that time, they had, like, robberies, you know, so when people stayed back, so just their belongings was gone from that, too. Growing up in New Orleans, you know, it's hard anyway, so you kind of feed off of, you know, that type of things like that. I just got the utmost respect for those guys, you know, because, um, I mean, you know, after everything they've been through, uh, they go out here and they give it every day and they work and they work and, uh, you know, they're doing it for a bigger purpose than themselves. Guys who grew up before you, you know, you see them have success, so you try to kind of like, you know, follow into their footsteps. Like Leonard, for example, you know, he stayed on in New Orleans, the city part, so I'm pretty sure, you know, like guys like him, you know, he lost everything. So, you know, just growing up, you know, when you're very talented as a kid, like I said, he fed, he fed off of that and, you know, look at, look at him now. And while many of his friends chose to stay home and play for LSU, Dijon chose Arkansas. He was thrown into the mix as a true freshman when Dre Greenlaw was sidelined in the middle of the year. And I've been watching Dre. A lot of Dre Fume my freshman year, and he been, you know, took me under his wing, even when he got hurt, you know, and just, he was like, he was in the same boat his freshman year, so he, he, he understood the stuff I was going through. So, you know, just playing outside, Dre helped me a lot. Playing next to Scooter, you know, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely been great, you know, I mean, just, you know, having somebody like that next to you, but, uh, you know, more importantly, man, just the way that he works, the way that he go out, and, you know, he grinds. And, uh, you know, just to have somebody like that next to you to know that, you know, that guy's going to do his job. He's going to be where he's supposed to be and he's going to make that tackle, man. You know, it just it makes you also want to go up there and play to that standard, too. A scrimmage. Who else? Dijon Harris. Three straight tackles. We see ourselves as a duel. Uh, we feel like we're the best duel in the, in, the, in the conference, in the nation, really. We, we never settle for less. Uh, we always trying to be, you know, the best we could be always on top of each other and you know, always trying to make guys behind us, you know, better. I, I don't think there's any question it's, it's the best productivity that I've been around. And, uh, you know, I've been around some, some really good uh, good players, uh, you know, some great players. And uh, I said this back in the spring that I thought these two guys, you know, were, were really special players. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. Chris you know, he lays, he laid back. From him coaching me and Dre, like, we, you know, we're older guys, we understand. Uh, more than a younger guy, so you know he don't get on us. But I mean, he'll always be right there after a mistake, just explain it to us. He's not forcing it upon us, but he you know he makes it clear that he needs us to be the leader of the defense. But Scooter will tell you, with Chief, there's more than just football. He's always asking us about, you know, how his life, you know, off the football field is going. Um, he, he asks us, you know, do we want to come to church with him on Sundays? You know, don't never be afraid, you know, to call him and ask him for things. Uh, he's, he's really like a family man off the field. And Dijon is thriving under Coach Chips. The junior middle linebacker leads the league in tackles with 93. In the middle of the field, he's drilled at the 12. Wow, Scooter Harris knocked him on his backside. It looked like Tamu. He's had a great year, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I don't use the word great very often. Certainly there were times that he could have been better, uh, but uh, he's had, a you know, a, an outstanding year. And he's a competitor. He's a competitor, and he, you know, through and through. A ball player, a straight ball player, uh, a guy that loves to be around his teammates. Um, he, when he does talk, you better listen. Uh, he doesn't. He's, he's a quiet guy, but boy, when he steps out there on that field, he performs, and, and he loves to play football. And he loves to be out there, and he loves to compete. He's a hard hat guy. He comes to work every day, every day. He's never up. 
never down. He's right there. You know what you're getting from him, and 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 I think he'll be the same way. Uh, I know he will be in preparation. I think he'll be the same way in the uh, in the game. You know, that's the way he plays. That's who he is. Dejan says he knows what's in front of him if he stays the course. But the NFL is one thing he doesn't like to talk about. I mean, I feel like everybody's just shooting to get to the NFL, but uh, you know, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, talk about it, and it's kind of become a distraction. And I never talk about it, you know, to others. I just, you know, NFL is always going to be there to me. You know, I'm working to get there, so when is my time? You know, I'll be ready for it.